Most of us have a story or two about how our healthcare is changing and not for the better. What you're about to see are stories of hardworking Californians who worry whether their health care will be there for them when they need it. I know a nurse that went and had a physical. The bill was $878 and the insurance paid $7.69. The rest was up to her to pay. I do have insurance. With my job, I pay over $300 per month for myself and my husband. About two weeks ago, I had some abdominal pain and I went to the ER. So I paid around $1,200 for a three-hour visit. I have an HMO. I had to get my medical treatment with a specialist. And he prescribed me uh, some medications. One of the medications we found out that is not covered by the insurance. The price of that medication is $300 a month. And I needed to take it for two months. That's $600. I don't have that money. What I'm trying to tell you is I have my medical coverage now, health insurance, and that's still not helping me because it doesn't, it's so, it doesn't cover a lot of things now. On some things that I used to cover before, it no longer covers. And I have to pay out of pocket. I can't keep up. I'm going to work and it's just like I cannot keep up. I feel that each time that when we renew our uh, premium, there's always something missing that you cannot get or there's a reduction in the benefits that you receive. Each time you pay for something and you get less coverage. I have cataracts. I can't afford to have them removed. So I wear glasses right now. I can't get a Medicare, I mean Medi-Cal, because I work. But I can't afford the health care, to pay for the health care, and I'm not old enough for Medicare. So where does that leave people like me? I work, I work two jobs, and I have a wife and five kids. And um, for us to be able to afford health care with, with the plans that either one of those jobs have, it would take at least one of my paychecks uh, out of our living expenses, and I can't afford to do that. I was hospitalized because my appendix had ruptured, and at that time I didn't have any health coverage. I was a college student working part-time jobs here and there, and so I didn't qualify for any health care benefits. And so my hospital stay was about 25000 My sister died from melanoma. She was uninsured at the time. She paid her taxes, and she worked, but she could not afford health insurance and was diagnosed late. She did not go to a doctor because she knew that it would cost a lot of money. And when the lump under her arm got big enough, she finally had it checked and was told it might go away. And it didn't go away. My grandmother has to choose between food and her meds. If she didn't have family, where would she be? Would she be living or would she be not here? I'm here today to talk about my niece, Faith. She'll be four years old on Sunday, and she currently doesn't have health insurance. My sister changed jobs and had to change her health insurance coverage. And when she applied for new coverage, my sister and my brother-in-law and my six-year-old niece were all approved, but they denied the four-year-old because she's had chronic ear infections. Faith has two parents that work full-time that are capable and willing to provide her health insurance, but she's been denied that opportunity. My mother is a cancer survivor. She had cancer seven years ago. Um, because of her pre-existing condition, she's no longer able to get private health insurance, even though now she has three fully grown kids who are willing to pay for her insurance um, premiums. We wanted to provide health insurance for our employees and for ourselves. Of course, we wanted health insurance. Uh, we couldn't. There was no way we could afford it. We found out that we can obtain health insurance for $2,500 per month per family. Uh, so as a manager of the business, we just there's just no way we can do that. I'm worried about my son. He's a full-time student. He works part-time. And this month, he turns 25, and he will have no health care. My oldest daughter, uh, two years ago, as a college student, was dropped from my insurance because one of her classes was dropped at the last moment and because of that she was one unit short of being eligible for my insurance. 
the way it's going, it will impact when I do retire, that I won't have those benefits that even my father had, who worked for the city for 25 years. He, he retired after 25 years with a pension, health care, the whole thing. I've worked probably 35 years, and I don't have a pension. I don't have health care. I had wanted to retire in three years when I turned 65, but... Um I have quite a few health issues, and I won't be able to afford the, the medications I need or the, you know, the regular checks they need to do for my medication. And um, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to work longer just, just for health care. I would like to see every working class family have some sort of health coverage, good health coverage. Someone needs to listen to us. Someone needs to do something, you know, make a difference. So they could change it and don't have to go through what, we, what I've gone through or anyone else is going through. Health insurance is important to everyone. And everyone deserves it. Don't you think that we all deserve health care? We have the opportunity to fix our health care now. Take action today.